guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a monochromatic mauve makeup look and I was so inspired by the new Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauve palette that I had to sit down and do this tutorial. Dose of Colors sent me these two palettes and a PR package this week and I fell in love. There's another palette that came with it. It's called Baked Browns and I will be using it in a tutorial but I was so inspired by this mauve palette. I will show you really fast. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that! It's so pretty! It has a brush that comes with it which I did use for a couple things but I've also seen a couple of you guys want to see a little bit more color on my channel some makeup looks that are a little bit more out there and fun and not neutral and peach which is what I love and stick to and that's totally me but I also have so much fun kind of branching out and doing other things using a little bit of color so I thought that this palette would be perfect to kind of incorporate a little more color here on my channel and hopefully you guys like this look as much as I do before we get into the tutorial please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're already subscribed then just be sure to hit the notification bell that just means Means you'll be notified every single time that I post a video so you'll never miss out. And yeah, with that being said, if you guys want to see how I got this monochromatic mauve makeup look, that's a lot of M's, <laughs> then just keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start out by moisturizing the face. You can use any moisturizer, but I use the Bobbi Brown Extra Illuminating Moisturizer. For foundation, I'm going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I mixed it in with the Cover FX Illuminating Drops. You don't need that much, but that combination is so gorgeous, so I applied it with a brush first and then blended it in with a beauty sponge. I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just concealing and highlighting all at the same time. So I put it under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, center of my forehead, kind of give myself like a goatee and mustache with it, you know, just to highlight and really make those parts of my face look really bright and alive and awake and highlighted. So I'm going to go into the Balm Highlight and Contour kit and I'm taking the two lightest highlight shades and mixing them together with my brush and just kind of setting wherever I applied the concealer. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into my Marvelous Mauve's palette from Dose of Colors. This is so gorgeous. I'm taking the lightest shade which is called Fluffy and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid up into the brow and it will just create a really nice base for us. We basically will move down the line in color. So now I'm taking the shade Rosy and I'm using that as a transition shade. I'm taking my brush from the Balm. I'll link it down below. I always forget to link brushes down below, but I love this brush. You guys see me use it all the time. And I'm just making sure to really blend that out into that first color. So now we're going in with the shade Wishy Washy, and I'm just going to use this in my crease mainly. So I took a smaller brush first to put the color into the crease, and then I went back into my fluffy brush just to blend it out into those other colors. Just to make it really seamless and smoky, because I love that, you know, with my eyeshadows. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Spaced Out, and we're using this to define the outer third. I'm just kind of using it to deepen up the outer part of my eye to really bring dimension, and I'm blending it into the crease as well and bringing the extra toward the center of my eye to make a subtle ombre. So with the darkest shade called Wine Stain, I'm taking the brush that's in the palette. Every this These two palettes come with a brush, so I decided to use it, and I'm just using um, the small end of the brush to create a winged liner out of that dark shadow. I really thought that this part really pulled the whole look together and you guys know how much I love using eyeshadows for liner so I had to do it. I'm going back into the shade Wishy Washy and I'm just running that underneath the lower lash line and then I'm going to go, oh no, I went into rosy before and now I'm going into Wishy Washy, sorry, and I'm going to use that to define the outer third and then blend it together with a clean brush. So now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I did two coats on the top and then just one coat on my bottom lashes just to really make my lashes pop. I love having bold lashes with a smoky eye look. So for bronzer, you guys guessed it, I am using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and just going around the perimeter of my face to kind of bronze and contour all at the same time. I use it down the side of my nose and under my lip to make it a little bit plump. So for blush, I actually went into Wishy Washy and Rosy and because I didn't have a mauve blush and I just kind of lightly put that pigment onto my cheeks and I thought it went really nicely with the whole look. And so now for highlight, I'm going in with the Benefit What's Up Highlighter. This is a gorgeous cream me champagne highlight and I just use my sponge directly on the product and then put that on all the high points of my face wherever you want to highlight. I use it down the center of my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow and I set that with the Balm Mary Luminizer highlight and which is so beautiful and this combo is insane. It's gorgeous and I just set all the areas that I put the What's Up highlight 
even down the center of my nose with a small brush for precision. I really, I've seen people use small brushes for a highlight and so I've been trying it and I really like how it works. So if you haven't tried that, I would highly recommend. And then I went in and kind of vamped up my inner corner highlight with a different brush. So now I'm going with the Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gigi to kind of pull the whole look together and that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you'll be able to get a little bit of inspiration from it. As always, comment down below. Let me know what things you'd like to see here on my channel. I love your guys' suggestions. You guys have great ideas, so it always helps me out so that I know what kind of videos you want to see and it helps me get excited to create more videos for you guys. So be sure to recommend a video that you'd like to see it down below. Also, be sure to like this video if you want to see more colorful tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe and I will We'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.